friends, my name is Yuki. I'm a lawyer and a YouTuber in Hong Kong. I've been in private practice as uh, a lawyer in Hong Kong for a couple of years, so obviously I've survived law school and lived to tell the story. In this video, I'll share three tips that I wish someone had told me before I started law school, and hopefully they will help you too. So the first thing is, it is normal to freak out. In the first year or so in law school, I had no idea what I was doing. You bet I've done well in my DSE to secure a spot in law school, but nothing prepared me for what was to come. I read law at Hong Kong U and we had these pigeonhole things with our names on it for us to collect reading materials for the week to come. I'm not sure if they're still there. Truth be told, the first time I collected them from my pigeonhole, I was ready to go full Hermione mode. I was I was going to go hard or go home, but really I don't recall a single instance in my five years of studying law school to have ever completed my reading material before class, nor do I remember anything I've read in those very thick reading materials. I remember not following at all in class and skipping lectures from the fifth or sixth lecture onwards because it was a complete waste of time to sit in a class where I didn't understand a thing. I remember skipping a tutorial because I didn't finish the tutorial questions and I was terrified of the tutor. What I want to say is, if you're feeling like this, you're not alone. Unless you are the selected few, will be adorned with a dean's list um, and scholarships for the rest of your um, academic career or you growing up to be the next star barrister. You're about to feel inadequate sometimes. I've been there myself. Take care of yourself and just keep swimming. And definitely consider my next tip. The second tip I'd like to share is to find the right learning material. One thing that has helped me a lot during law school is to find the right kind of study material. When I was first starting out, I felt so lost because the study material was so different from what we're used to seeing in secondary school. In secondary school, you have everything laid out very nicely um, with um, pictures and call-out boxes and like exercise at the back and that sort of thing. But in law school, we have pages and pages of textbooks with five levels of subheadings and like numerous cases that are supposed to mean something. For the first year or so, I banged my head against these dense material, hoping that something would click, but that was not the smart way to do it. What I recommend is either making your own notes, buying it off someone, or buying ready-made study notes. These notes should contain just enough material about that area of law to allow you to answer exam questions. And should be laid out in a way that's very easy to find in an open book exam. You just need to have a little book of yours that gives you all the basic principles, um, basic legal principles, and the, a case name for you to cite. Because that's really all the time you have, you will have in the exam. Another thing I really recommend doing, trust me, you don't really need to read every case um, assigned to you. You don't really need to read every page of the textbook is to look for past papers before you start your exam preparation. Do not get lost in the nitty-gritty of ratios and what the majority or minority in a court said in a particular case. Start from the end and see what issues come up and the level of detail you're expected to go into in the time you have during the exam. And from there, determine how much material you actually need to master to give you a good chance at a decent grade. Third tip, is that the grades are not the be-all and end-all, they kind of are. So I cheated a bit here as I was actually told this before starting law school. I was told that I should aim to keep my grades in at least a B and B plus range. What it does, it helps you get into PCIL, which is the professional certificate course that, that is the entry ticket into the legal um, career. If starting career as a lawyer in Hong Kong is at all on the cards, I'd recommend keeping half an eye on your grades. So from my past experience, I've skipped tons of lectures, which I didn't understand, um, to start preparing for exams. 
whatever I do during the semester, because I had lots of non-academic commitments, I, I started preparing for exams at least one month in advance to make sure I have time to catch up um, on all the materials covered in that semester. The first couple of times taking a law school exam would be terrifying. I remember being so clueless um, in my contract law exam that would be one of the first um, law school exams you ever take. I remember being so nervous that I felt nauseous. It gets a bit easier as time goes. I guess that's because your baseline anxiety also goes up. On the other hand, if you're in a position where your grades are clearly other range where you can secure a spot in the PCLL, that's not the end of the world. The most important thing to remember is that law school and a legal career is just one of many kinds of endeavour that you can engage in, that you can choose to pour yourself into. And to be fair, it's neither the most glorious or the most lucrative in the grand scheme. So chin up, what you've learned in law school, you've learned about yourself and how the law functions will still be valuable things that you can take with you to your next career. So there you go. I've rambled a bit, but hopefully you have found value in this video. And if so, I'd really appreciate it if you'd support me by giving me a thumbs up, mash that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, and click here to see my latest upload. I'm so proud of you for trying. See you in the next video.